I can't stand the media or sometimes even sports journalism media. They need to think about what they're saying, what they're doing, how they're acting. Now, I'm just a bloke in my room talking Steelers, who's a fan of the team, the black and gold. Steelers fan for 23 years. But other blokes out there, guys with their passes, their credentials, their big names, their big studios, make things up just to cause drama. Now, here's the latest thing. This, this is getting really stupid. Like, if this becomes a story, like where other journalists start talking about George Pickens on how he might feel if something happens, where they go and draft a receiver in the first round or second round, how does he feel? They don't even know yet. I saw this from Mr. Brian Batko. I think he's one of the Pittsburgh journalists over there. Nothing, nothing totally against him, but do your job better. Do it better. Report on facts. Report on like actual football news, not how somebody would feel. Right here. He says here, if you draft a receiver in the first round, George Pickens is going to feel some type of way. Okay, let me pause you there, Mr. Brian Batko. How do you know that? How do you know he's going to feel some type of way? Is he going to feel good, bad, indifferent, excited, sad, angry? I don't know, nauseous. How's he going to feel? How do you think he's going to feel that way? That to me is crazy. If you drop that bloke and you know, receive in the first round, George Pickens is going to feel some type of way. We all have feelings, man, but how do you know that that player is going to feel this type of way? What he's saying is that is they're, they're pretty much, Brian's saying here, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out actually, Brian's saying that George Pickens will be pissed off and angry like really annoyed if they go and sign a receiver. And they're making this out of a story. It's gone around Twitter, going around the news because nothing's happening now. So in Steelers, we need a receiver. DJ's gone. They need a wide receiver. So what better way to create drama in the news? And my title and and uh, you know thumbnail will be covering this, will be different. I won't say George Pickens feels upset and, and pissed off because he's, you know, someone's coming in to be receiver number two via the draft or they're going at a high draft pick. That's poor journalism. Just because you have a thing around your neck that gets you into the building doesn't mean you can say these kind of things. That's why I like being a fan, man. I love being a fan. So this, this, okay. and, and then these kind, these kind of stories from, from that story creates another story, right? From a rumor to a rumor with some feelings creates this. And you see other publications out there, Steel Nation, at Steel Nation says, says, should the Steelers be concerned about George Pickens' feelings? There is no feelings. There's none. There's zero. Absolute nothing. George Pickens' feelings has not happened in, in any sense of a word. Nothing. So then fans jump on the bandwagon and start bagging out George Pickens how he's feeling. But at the same time, it's based off what Brian Bucko said. If you draft a receiver in the first round, George Pickens is going to feel some type of way. Then these guys pick it up. They run a story. Should the Steelers be concerned about George Pickens' feelings? It never happened. Like, not, none of this happened. Now, in case of if it does happen, yeah, we've got to watch out and see what George Pickens says or what he might say. I hope they do go and sign a receiver in the, uh, the first pick or the second pick or third pick. I'm okay with it. If it's center, if it's right tackle, if it's receiver, if it's whoever, I'm still trusting what Omar Khan is doing with this team. But basing your story off what you think, what Brian Backer said, what he thinks they're going to feel about a player, then going into this saying, should the Steelers be concerned about George Pickens' feelings, it's making something out of nothing. It's, it's saying to the media and, and the fans who do fall for it and start asking questions in the Steelers community universe saying, did you hear about what George Pickens said? Did you hear about what, how George Pickens feels about the situation? He's never said it. Never. Never, ever. The same blokes from here too. 93.7 The Fan at Brian Bacco said, though, it should not affect the Steelers' consideration. George Pickens might not take kindly to a receiver being drafted in the first round. All these stories, this one here, this one, and the other one, have simply have not happened yet. And when it's a downtime, the media with a journalist pass, and I'm a fan of my room, a bloke in his room talking Steelers. Now let's get back to some football sense. I've ranted a bit there because that, that just absolutely, it just, this time of year pisses me off. I, I get over it with this bloke saying, how does he feel? 
then these blokes say, well, could you be concerned about George? It didn't happen. Those Okay, that's the big link. Those two there, this one, how did he feel via Brian Batko? To this one from a publication saying, "How do you? How do you? Are you confirmed? Are you concerned about George Pickens' feelings? Those two things never happened, never, never, never. Let, let's see how far this story goes. And I'm calling at the BS. I absolutely am I'm calling at the BS because because these media sites, you know what? The only difference is you have a lanyard around your shirt and you're allowed to get in the building. If I was if I was allowed to get in the building, I'd ask cool questions. I'd ask awesome questions. You know, to the Steelers." I'd have their back. I'd be positive. I'd be like, let's F and go, cheer them up, you know, fist bump them, all that kind of stuff. I'd ask good questions, good wholesome questions, not create narrative drama and story. And Pittsburgh media, most of them, not all of them, but most of them just want to get you for the clicks and grab you and then make something up and talk about that. It's just nuts. Anyways, if the Steelers do go and sign a receiver, draft a receiver in the first I don't know, one or two picks. Maybe they get a center or a right tackle or offensive lineman with the first pick. And with the second round pick, they go and get a receiver. I don't know. Someone falls to them. They have, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. And so should George. George will be fine. But right now, to make a story up, to make a story up that it hasn't happened yet, and how would he feel the same way that, uh, you know, trying to, I guess, guess or make believe story that Pickens is now annoyed about Actually, Pickens, they're saying Pickens is annoyed about something that didn't happen. So they're making up feelings for a guy that he doesn't even, he didn't even say that. And also they're making up feelings for something that did not happen yet in, in the terms of the NFL draft 2024, still select with 20, still select with, I think, 51 we have. So these kind of narratives, man, you, you see what happens when there's no news via the free agency wave and Omar Khan, when there's no news, these publications, they have to get some storylines out there. So they grab something. They said, how would George feel? How would Najee Harris feel? Anyways, how do you feel? How does this the story affect you? If you draft a receiver in the first round, George Pickens is going to feel some type of way. They should be concerned about George Pickens' feelings. How do you feel about George Pickens' feelings that are made up? I'm done. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I might see you the next day or two. Uh, And yeah, that's it. How do you feel?